There's a ton of independent release twin stick roguelikes out there, but there is a new one called Feral Fury that's trying its luck. But does this one end up bringing out the beast inside of you, or is this one just a little too tame? Feral Fury is a roguelike twin stick shooter with procedurally generated levels. There are five stages to complete, at least on the normal difficulty, and your goal is to go through several levels before facing off with a boss at the end of that stage and then move on to the next. However, like a lot of other games similar to this, you end up dying, you're going to have to start the game over from the beginning. It's all up to a little bit of luck as you travel through the levels, deal with the enemies, and with the rooms changing up each time, at least the playthroughs are a bit different, though you do end up seeing a lot of the same themes and same types of rooms repeatedly. The game features a world of anthropomorphic animals, with these big muscled up marine-like ones that you get to play as. Unfortunately though, most of the characters are locked, and you'll have to unlock them by completing the various difficulties and other tasks. Once you select your character, you also have difficulty to take into consideration. There's easy, normal, and hard, with hard being unlocked until you beat normal, and the easy having a few levels, but not all of them, and doesn't even include the boss fights. That doesn't mean, though, that the easy mode can't still give you a little bit of trouble, but it is a good way to start the game, learn the basics, as well as start earning money. Money that you earn you can then spend after dying or completing a run, and buy some permanent upgrades for your character, like increased health or starting off with a key. You can also find these same upgrades throughout the course of your runs, and getting more of them you'll be able to stack them for increased stats, like increased speed, health, and the like. Along with these upgrades though, you'll also find blue keys that you can use to unlock chests that will contain random items to help you out. There are shops that you'll have to unlock with the same keys and be only able to access them when you have one of these. As well as you also have the red keys that you will find randomly on each floor and you must find one in order to open up the exit gate and move on to the next stage. The action in the game is perfectly acceptable and definitely has some fun moments to it. You're able to dodge roll which really comes in handy getting in the way of enemy fire and you can even increase your dodge roll so it can really end up helping out. There's some minor nuisances though when you collect some items that actually aren't hurtful for you, your character will still flash which looks like you took a hit but then you'll quickly check your health to realize you haven't lost any. The game does feature several different guns, you have a default one that has infinite ammo, but you'll find plenty other ones scattered throughout that have a limited amount of ammo before you end up running out. The game though does include some fun, intense boss fights, some more interesting and intense than others, but still for the most part were very enjoyable fights. The game also features a few secret areas and special bosses for you to find if you have a keen eye and are willing to take on the extra challenge, which at least adds a bit more to replaying the game a few more times. My biggest problem though with Feral Fury is just its lack of variety overall. There's only a handful of enemy types, and while you have five stages with five different themes to them, that's it. A lot of other roguelikes you'll play similar to this one will have either potentially different random types of stages that you'll end up going to instead of the same themes every time just with layouts changing up. And then there's also the roguelikes that let you select which area you want to go to next, so you have a little bit of a choice for where you want to go and makes each run even more customizable. When you take that and combine it with a few technical issues that I ran in, from some slowdown to the game flat out crashing on me, though thankfully when it did crash there was some point an autosave, so I was able to get back into my game and continue. Normally if you end up like quitting out or you end up dying, of course you're not able to pick up where you ended up leaving off. So thankfully though, it does do a few autosaves, so if it does crash, you may not end up losing your progress. Feral Fury is available now on the PS4 for $9.99 and it does have a platinum trophy. The game is also available on the Xbox One, Steam, and mobile devices. Overall, this is a pretty fun little roguelike twin stick shooter. If there wasn't so many of these games out there, it'd be a little easier to recommend, but with the few flaws that it does have, technical issues as well as just a little bit in the lack of variety department, it's a little bit hard to recommend. There's a lot of other great ones out there, including the likes of Neurovoider, which I highly recommend. So with everything said, I'm going to be giving Feral Fury a 6 out of 10. But anyway guys, it's going to wrap up this review. I'd like to thank you for watching, and of course, I hope you enjoyed.